Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft! <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like it has been forever and it's literally just been a few days. Uh, there has been so much that's been going on between episodes, mostly Minecraft Live happened and this episode, I'm just going to give you all of my opinions about all of the updates that we have learned about when it comes to Minecraft. And while that's going on, I feel like there are a lot of little details around my world that need to be, you know, polished up. A little bit of elbow grease needs to go in them, make them look a little bit nicer. I, min I saw on the last episode someone mentioned, remove the freaking dirt around your portal. It looks so dumb. So, uh, and like this, pod's oil is still here from when we used to have fish fox, fish, fish, blah, 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 fish fox oh, it, right here. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup while we talk about uh, what went down here uh, with Minecraft Live. If you are confused, Minecraft Live is the big announcement that Mine Minecraft and Mojang uh, do every year. It is the successor to Minecon. And at Minecon, you'd always get these crazy announcements with different panels or whatever. And, uh, and, and you'd learn about what was coming up next with Minecraft. And so we do the same thing with Minecraft Live. It used to be called Minecon Live. And then it was Minecon Earth. And then it was Minecraft Live. So it's confusing as heck, but uh, that is where we are at. So, the big update at Minecraft Live was that the next update will be caves and cliffs. Absolutely everything that the community wanted was announced, like, the fact, I mean, just every, the community was kind of, like, making it this huge meme that it would be the cave update next. And that is what we ended up getting. Now, also included in that is cliffs, which was, I think, confusing for a few people. At first, I was like, cliffs? Like, why, why cliffs? Well, because we voted for that last year, 2019, we voted for cliffs. Uh, the snow your snow mountain thing. So we're going to get that in this update as well. I guess I should mention that if you haven't watched my video going through everything, you probably should. Because I don't want to spend a ton of time talking about each update. I just want to give you my opinions about each update. So, super happy that we're getting caves uh, to be the next update. Because, I mean, seriously, just like the community mentioned many, many times, it is, it's time. It's time for the caves to be updated. And the biomes that we saw in this update looked really, really cool. Like, I'm crazy excited about the different types of caves that we saw. We saw some really, really large caves. And then we also saw like lush caves and like all these different biomes. And I'm hoping that we get even more. Obviously the process to update Minecraft is kind of like it happens in front of our eyes. And so I'm hoping that as the developers come up with more and more biomes, we get to see those biomes um, come to fruition. And, and I really want to see what happens there. And I, I basically, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what extra biomes, they kind of half promised that there would be even more biomes uh, coming out. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, we did get to see a few biomes and what we saw, I absolutely loved it. Like lush, lush biomes that looked super duper awesome. And the lush caves, I guess I should say, call it. Uh, we got axolotls up in there. I'm like, the idea of biomes for caves, like how, how is this not thought of before? Like seriously, like that, that's awesome. Super, super excited about that. And it's really gonna make exploring useful again. <laughs> It's like making exploring great again because you see one cave, you've seen them all, and hopefully they add just as many biomes as like in the overworld as as uh, the caves. Uh, some caves were humongous, and I could totally see building a cave base, which is like not possible right now. Like a cave base is not something that you would do, and the idea that you would have enough space underground to do that is awesome. Also something that we saw was that 
we are going to get more um, light blocks. And I couldn't be more excited. We got these like glowberry things. Oh my gosh. Like that is absolutely amazing and awesome. Can't Couldn't be more excited about a new light source. Anytime that you can, like light is so important to Minecraft. And so anytime that you can create some new type of source, I am like all about that. I think that's really about it for caves. I, I'm, I'm really holding out hope that they add a lot more biomes like I mentioned before. And one biome that they mentioned, but we didn't actually get to see, and I mean, maybe we did, I can't, I couldn't tell if we did or didn't, was what they called the deep dark. And there was a post on Reddit that mentioned that possibly they are expanding the, the, the ground. So like, you know how we've had a height limit increase? God, I thought that was like a, I thought that was a bad guy. Like maybe there will be a lower limit de decrease. I don't know. How would you even describe that? Um, but that was mentioned on, uh, on Reddit. And that would also make sense of the deep dark it, that the world is going to get even deeper. And we saw a really cool block, um, also uh, in that whole situation, but we have the warden. And that's part of that whole situation. And I totally misheard the first time that they talked about shulk uh, or skulks. I thought they were shulks. And so I was like, oh, this is where the shulkers come from. I thought it was like some something to do with the end. I mean, maybe it is something to do with the end. I don't know. Who knows? The deep dark. Maybe it's in the void. Maybe you have to jump into the void in the end. And then you get to the deep dark. I have no idea. The fact that there is another biome that we didn't really get to see. We kind of saw some of the blocks. And we kind of saw a mob from it. it. Has me so excited that there's going to be even more about biomes. in the And even more biomes that we haven't seen yet in this update. And can we just say... The warden is the most adorable creature I have ever seen. People all be like, oh, he's so scary. Ah. No, -uh. he's just, he is misunderstood. The warden is amazing and possibly the most adorable mob in Minecraft. Speaking of the warden and the skulk things, that uh, showed off that there's maybe wireless redstone. Now this wireless quote unquote redstone looks limited very limited because it looks like it you need like one of these skulk sensors like every once in a while in order to have the wireless nature of the redstone and i think that's going to be pretty cumbersome to have like long wireless redstone that like goes for a very long time so we'll see about this wireless redstone and uh, and what that all means. But these skulk sensors could detect vibrations. I think is the weirdest vibrations. Like who thought who thought Minecraft was gonna have vibration detectors like ever? Like that is just weird. But we do, and so that seems super crazy. Now let's move on and talk about the mob vote <sighs> because. I have some opinions, some very frustrating opinions about the mob vote. It is my opinion that the glow squid should not have won, mostly because the glow squid will not glow, okay? I am telling you right now, unless something major happens with the glow squid, the glow squid is not going to glow. What do I mean by this? So, the glow squid is the one that won, by the way, if you didn't know. The glow squid, there's no dynamic lighting in Minecraft, okay? We got Minecraft with RTX, but that is basically for Windows 10 edition only. So, all the people on the phones, all the people on Java edition, they, are, they don't run Windows with RT, they don't run Minecraft with RTX. It's a very small subset of, of people who can actually run the RTX stuff that is not that doesn't count as a dynamic lighting for Minecraft in my opinion the Currently how light works in Minecraft is that you have a block that lets out light Okay, the block itself is going to be the thing that outputs light so having a creature an entity that can move throughout the world and is not going to create light. It 
will, it might quote unquote glow by using some type of, I, I guess, uh, shading. What I mean by that is shading is not the right word, but a texturing, I guess, in the mobile version. So on the bedrock version of Minecraft, you can have, you have phantoms that their eyes don't match their illumination level. So their eyes will be full bright, but the rest of their texture will be whatever the, you know, whatever is normally the the light level of, of that creature. So you sort of have this situation where you have glowing, but that does not affect any of the textures around it. It will only affect pixels within the texture. And in my opinion, that does not, that is not glowing. Glowing is like hitting other blocks around. And that is only the Bedrock version. Now, granted, the Bedrock version is the most popular version of Minecraft. So the majority of players will get that. And also that type of technology could be built into the Java edition of the game. But I think that a lot of people's expectations was that you would have a squid underwater that would light up the water and that you would see the blocks around that squid light up because it is in fact glowing and lighting up the water. And at the moment, unless there's new technology that gets built into Minecraft, which is possible because they're still developing the game, and that, that the glow squid will not glow. Now, I could definitely see the cop out the, the 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 way to get out of this is that the texture is separate from the light level so it kind of glows in a way and that's how they get around it and then they would basically I, I feel like you could have the squid drop an item that creates another thing that glows that would be cool i'd be excited about it but Still, technically, the glow squid will not create light on other objects around it. I personally wanted the ice isolager. I, I liked how uh, Captain Sparkles kept calling him the the chillager because he was the cold uh, villager. Uh, anyway, I liked I liked that uh, that phrasing. Um, so we're gonna call him the chillager from now on. But I personally wanted the chillager because. With the cliffs being updated and all of that stuff, I thought that that made a very nice addition. I feel like the glow squid should have been added when the update aquatic stuff happened. You know, like, I just feel like we should keep to keep to uh, one type of update here at a time and uh, enjoy, you know, that update as it's, as it's happening, but... Uh, whatever we got the glow squid. We didn't get the moo bloom I know a lot of people wanted the moo bloom because it was pretty adorable uh, But we didn't get that either by the way speaking of light level stuff I mentioned it earlier and I mentioned it with the glow squid y'all during the warden segment There were like candles on the ground totally freaking out about candles I want some candles in Minecraft. So now let's talk about some of the details that I've, I haven't talked about yet. Copper, super excited about copper. I really wanna see what happens with copper and exactly how the veins of copper work compared to what we have now because they mentioned that it would be like veins of copper instead of just, I guess the one, two, you know, the, the blocks of copper that we currently have. And then uh, I really like the telescope idea, super excited about that and where that might go. The whole, there's like these amethyst crystals that make telescopes and whatnot. Like that seems like super awesome. Really excited about that. And the lightning rod. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about the lightning rod because charge creepers are cool. Being able to make basically a charge creeper farm would be awesome. Like seriously awesome. Would really like that. And so having a way to basically force lightning to go into a certain area, that that seems way neat. And so very excited about the lightning rod and what that might bring to the game. Now they mentioned these amethyst geode things and those were really interesting that they are sort of like spawners in Minecraft where you can't really pick them up with silk touch and you have to just 
like move them or you have to go to them if you want that the thing that it it makes so that i think is going to be kind of cool it's like oh i got my amethyst geode way over here i'm going to make a pathway over to go get to it i think that that is is kind of cool and um just having the amethyst block stuff like i uh, i really like the that uh, the option of like some type of purple thing uh in the game that's neat now they mentioned telescopes with copper and amethyst and like somehow you make a lens i think with the amethyst i don't remember i don't know but that i i swear like i swear minecraft minecraft is gonna be minecraft and they're gonna focus on education stuff and that telescope is gonna be able to see planets or something like it's got you got to be able to use a telescope actually as a telescope it's gotta happen right i mean it's just gotta happen that that has to be a thing who knows i mean it might might not be a thing but i think it's gonna be a thing now one thing that i didn't see a lot of people mentioning and talking about that i kind of felt like maybe should be talked about a little bit more is that there will be no update this uh holiday so there is no like before we had the buzzy bees update and that happened over the holidays we aren't getting that this time that is not a thing that will be happening i'm not really all that upset about it in fact i kind of was a little frustrated with the buzzy bees update not having a lot inside of it like it felt like a pretty meaningless update in a way and so it doesn't bother me that we're not getting it but i almost felt like more people would be shocked by that like oh my gosh no no holiday update what the heck i cannot find any of my leads i thought i had leads in there but i guess i don't i don't have any leads make some leads now something that i think needs to be said that other people are not talking about because i feel like it is it's almost hard to realize how i guess nice this is is um i felt like the whole stream in general was so good this year i it, it there was like no cringe there was a little bit of cringe but there was way less cringe and there was like like it immediately went into updates and features and things that we cared about and were excited about it like immediately launched straight into like here's some updates let's get started here here's some more updates here's some updates about earth minecraft earth there's some updates about uh, minecraft dungeons here's even more cave update stuff like i gotta hand it to the team i feel like they did a very good job of making this entire stream seem exciting and and like just hitting you with updates and not boring and not super cringy i feel like they went a i personally feel like it went a little bit overboard last uh, even even the year that i hosted i feel like as a youtube host the only thing that we could do was to be entertaining that was like the one thing that we had um and i'm i almost wish that the youtube hosts got a chance to do like actual updates about the game but obviously that's like not gonna happen so i'm super glad that they took the developers and just like we're like just like okay let's talk about updates they want updates we're gonna talk about all the updates that we possibly can super duper fast i i really appreciated that and i think that that was a really good I've, i'm like i want every single uh year to be similar to that like i want every year to be update heavy update focused the entire time the last sea pickle uh i might have to <laughs> get more of those i think i've exhausted like my my thoughts on uh on the update i think the last thing is i can't wait to see more about cliffs like i i feel like that was you know it's the cave and cliffs update and so far we haven't really seen anything about the cliffs so i really want uh no that's not what i want really all we like i i realized this when i was editing my video about um the the whole update and uh, the live stream is really the only thing we got to see about caves and cliffs was the really short video about the goats and we got one screenshot during the mob vote 
like time. Like, and so it was very light on information about the actual cliff stuff. I don't, I bet that a lot of that is they literally just don't have uh, a ton of info. Like it's, <laughs> it's world generation and that's really it. And I know from previous updates, world generation is not easy. So I'm betting that they are holding off on showing and talking about that a lot until they have actually developed it. And that type of development takes a while. I'm trying to hide my sea pickles with, uh, by bone mealing around them so that they kind of like blend in with the grass ar around them. Okay, now I have exhausted literally everything I can think of about the caves update. Uh, we did see quite a lot about dungeons and earth. And by the way, it looks like our adorable itty bitty pufferfish is still chilling. And a lot of you guys were like, come on, Chad. You're putting him back into a single block of water. Okay, we are gonna move him. Not near, the the fish fox and frost fox are the things that I'm scared about. I don't want, I don't want my puffer fish to hurt and poison them. So I wanna make sure that he is somewhere that that's not gonna happen. And I think this is the perfect area. This little pond right here, this will make sure that our fish and frost fox are safe. Uh, that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. We got quite a lot of little details done, lots of pathways. Uh, I think we beautified the entire world here. I think that it was really needed, especially up there. I really like what happened with the portal up there. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, episode, and I hope that you enjoyed listening to me rant and ramble about everything with the n new information that we found out about what's coming out with Minecraft after Minecraft Live. See you on another episode of How to Minecraft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos. It'll really help out the channel. And if you want to directly support me, there's two ways to do that. You can become a member on YouTube. Just click the join button on YouTube to find out more. And you can also buy merchandise, including my protection bucket t-shirt that I was wearing in the latest video with the whole Samsung phone and building stuff around Texas. You can get that shirt specifically at helloomg.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on another episode. Bye.